Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, system of equations x power 2x plus y power 2x equals to 26. The second equation is x power 2y plus y power 2y equals to 5. And the next equation is x power x plus y plus y power x plus y equals to 7. And now we are going to find the value of x power x times y power y minus x power y times y power x. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the very first step. Let's, let me go ahead and label these equations. I'm going to call this first equation as our equation number one. This as our equation number two. And this as our equation number three. And now let's go ahead and multiply these equations one and two. Let me write down these uh, left hand sides first. Let me go ahead and write down x power 2x plus y power 2x times x power 2y plus y power 2y equals to on the right hand side. I'm going to go ahead and multiply 26 times 5. And now let's go ahead and distribute uh, these uh, terms. So therefore, I can write on the left hand side uh, x power 2x times uh, x power 2y plus uh, x power 2x times y power 2y plus uh, y. Let me put down x power 2y first and then y power 2x and then plus finally uh, y power 2x times y power 2y equals to on the right hand side 26 times 5 is going to give us 130. And now let's recall the product rule of exponents. We are going to apply it uh, on this part uh, and this uh, term as well. So therefore this uh, term could be written as x power 2x plus 2y and we are going to write down these two terms as it is. So I'm going to write down plus x power 2x times y power 2y plus x power 2y times y power 2x plus let's focus on this last term. We are going to write down y power 2x plus 2y equals to 130. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number 4. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, equation 3. We are going to take a square on uh, both sides of this equation. And here I have copied down this uh, equation 3. Let's go ahead and take a square on uh, both sides. Let me go ahead and write down square on this side and square on this side as well. And now let's recall this uh, famous identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus 2ab plus uh, b square. I'm going to apply it on the left hand uh, side. So therefore the left hand side is going to become uh, x power x plus y whole uh, square plus uh, 2 times uh, x power x plus y times uh, y power x plus y plus y power x plus y whole square equal to 7 square is same as 49 on the right hand side. And now let's recall the product rule of uh, exponents. We are going to apply it on this uh, term and this term as well. And here we can multiply out uh, these uh, nested exponents. Likewise, we're going to multiply them out as well. So therefore, this very first term could be written as x power 2x plus 2y plus 2 times x power x plus y times y power x plus y and then plus finally y power 2x plus 2y equals to 49. Let me go ahead and call this our equation uh, number 5. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and subtract uh, equation uh, 5 from uh, equation 4. 
And here I have copied down equations 4 and 5. Let's go ahead and subtract. Let me go ahead and change this sign. Positive become negative. Positive become negative. And this positive become negative. And likewise, this become negative as well. And now we can see that this term is gone with this term. Likewise, this is gone with this one. So therefore, on the left hand side, we are ended up with the, these terms and this term as well. Let me go ahead and write it down. So this is going to be x power 2x, y power 2y, plus uh, this uh, x power 2y, y power 2x, and then finally minus uh, 2 times uh, x power x plus y times uh, y power x plus uh, y equals to on the right hand side 130 minus 49 is going to give us 81 and now let's recall this power rule of exponents once again we are going to apply it on these parts so therefore this could be written as x power x whole square times y power y whole square plus likewise x power y whole square times uh, y power x uh, whole square minus uh, everything is going to be same this one 2 times x power x plus y and then times uh, y power x uh, plus y equals to 81 on the right hand side and now let's recall another rule of exponents we are going to apply it uh, on these uh, parts so therefore this term is going to become x power x uh, times y power y whole square plus the second one x power y times y power x whole square and now let's focus on this part and here I have copied it down and now let's recall this product rule of exponents once again we are going to apply on both of these ones so therefore this first one could be written as x power x times x power y times for this second one could be written as y power x times y power y now let me go ahead and rearrange them i'm going to multiply these ones first then i'm going to multiply these ones as well so therefore i'm going to write down x power x times y power y times x power y times y power x and now we can see that this whole thing has been uh, manipulated to this one so therefore i'm going to go ahead and write down a negative 2 and then i'm going to replace this one by these ones so i'm going to write down uh, x power x y power y times x power y times y power x equals to 81 and now let's recall this another famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square plus b square minus 2ab we are going to apply it on the left hand side so therefore left hand side is going to become x power x y power y minus x power y times y power x whole square equals to 81 and now let's go ahead and take a square root on both sides to undo this square and we can see this square and square root is gone so the left hand side has become x power x y power y minus x power y times y power x equals to 9 thus we can see this left hand side has turned out to be positive 9. So thus x power x times y power y minus x power y times y power x turns out to be equal to 9. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.